So here's something I think we all saw coming. The American Society of Magical Negroes is an absolute box office disaster. Why? Well, when you make a, a movie about magical black people having to go out of their way to make white people comfortable because the most dangerous thing in the world is white people when they're unhappy, what did you think was going to happen? People look at that movie and realize that it was clearly made by a bunch of idiots who have no idea who their audience is, the story they want to tell, and whatever else they thought they could put together in their mind. So yeah, it's bombing hard, no surprise there. Let's get into this article here from Bounding into Comics that covers a lot of it. The American Society of Magical Negroes is a financial disaster. Barely manages to make one million on opening weekend. Not a shock at all. The American Society of Magical Negroes, a self-described comedy produced by Focus Features and directed by Kobe Lemmy, is a massive financial disaster that will likely fail to break even. Damn good. As per information collected by the numbers, the Justice Smith-led film was barely able to pass the 1 million mark, making a total of 1.3 million on opening weekend, debuting in 1,147 theaters across the United States. Now, that was a week ago. I was a little over a week ago. Take a look at the numbers now and see where it is at. 2,250,000 that is all it has made and it's just domestic box office I, I don't know if anybody's going to waste the time to look at this internationally and if they do ain't no way this movie's making back any money and they're being very tight-lipped about the actual production budget for this movie yeah? they're doing that a lot of these companies to do that nowadays but somehow a lot of the information does come out hasn't come out yet but they're trying to do that because when you realize the, the hole they have put themselves in every time they do this crap and this movies fail because again you remember somebody actually had to pitch the idea for this movie somebody sat down listed it and actually said you know what this sounds, this sounds like a good idea here's money go and make this let's take a look at it here look at this disaster right they talk about the opening weekend right 1.34 that's it by right? march 22nd second week two million two hundred and five look at look at the gross for this now opening day the gross five hundred and twenty four thousand six hundred and ninety five thousand dollars not just on the opening day they didn't even at the theaters at one thousand one hundred dollars they didn't even break over a million dollars opening day it took like the whole weekend Right, the three day weekend before it could actually make it to a million. And then look at look at the amount of what it make from five, four, three, one, 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 seven, one, one, one. This is not this is this is abysmal. That's what it is. This is abysmal. This is the overall gross. Look at the look at look at the, look at the amount per theater. That, that started off at four hundred and fifty-seven dollars per theater. You I mean? It at one point it actually got to ninety-seven dollars per theater. The next, the next point ninety-three, and then at the next point sixty-nine dollars per theater. Now it's no, now it's at one hundred and four dollars per theater. You understand me? It's only made a little over two million dollars. That's all. Nobody is watching this thing because this movie is. It's crap. You could tell this was going to happen. What was the point of making this nonsense? I don't know. But that's what they did. Like I said, they could have made a really cool, like, Black Harry Potter comedy movie or something. Or put it in such a way that, you know, people throw the history. Black Roger had power and they were just using it to make their lives better and things. Like I said, you could have had, like, an owl voiced by Snoop Dogg. That would have been cool. But no, instead you made this nonsense. 
continue on eh? we talk about what happened over the, the weekend and stuff and the abysmal state of it and all of this here even with going through that they talk about how they, uh, they, they, they premiered alongside lions gate after the king and, and what happened with it and, and how that and how that made more much more money and it and all of this mm. the american society of magical negroes had to settle for the box office charts ninth place and word of mouth isn't doing the film any favors either on review aggregator site rotten tomatoes the american society of magical negroes has a critic score of 30% and a 59% audience score. Take a look at what that is now. 31% rotten and 67% audience score. Yeah, that's what it is. Similarly, the film was met with mixed of average reviews on Metacritics based on 19 critics reviews of Indissa for a disappointing 52 10 and a user score of 0 0.5 the 10 based on 43 user ratings for a overwhelming dislike user score. Yep. Interestingly, the film's director had previously declared that he wasn't concerned about audiences not understanding the message he's trying to push with the American society of magical Negroes. Is that message that you don't know what you're doing? Because if that's it, I think people got it. And specifically asked whether he was worried People unfamiliar with the magical Negro trope would not understand the film's message. This is what he had to say, not particularly because it's one of those things that's like, even if you don't know the term, you know it's Spike Lee's term, he's the one who coined it. You know that black character that's just there to be nebulously black in the background. They're not really a person and we all can picture it. Beyond the movie, we all knew what it's like to feel pushed to the side and have somebody else pushed to the front. Yeah, but then you could have just made a movie, like I said, about magical black people, some kind of Harry Potter type comedy movie or something, or just, you know, something along that way where you're focused on that. Why you all need to constantly mess with everything and then make yourselves look stupid? I don't know, do you, do you need to do this? He would later vaguely explain, this movie is about learning to be seen how you deserve to be seen. That's something that a lot of black people can connect with. But I think there are a lot of people who also feel pushed to the side or not regarded as fully as they deserve to be. So I hope this is a nourishing and joyful space where everyone can feel a little bit more appreciated than in some of these movies I'm criticizing. Further proving that neither the producers, directors, or the actors understood that the demographic, what or that what the demographic for their movie they were making was Justice Smith attempted to explain why movies like the American Society of Magical Negroes is relevant to marginalized individuals. Oh God, I could just hear this stupidness already. In an interview with the Hollywood Reporter, this is what he had um with Gray Smith and Lenny talk about their own experience with racism. Smith said it's so funny because as black audiences, as any marginalized person can attest to, we had to find ourselves with white stories. We had to find white characters that, that we identify with for so long. And then now that we're centering ourselves in these stories, white audiences for the first time ever are like, oh, like now I have to find myself, even though no one in this looks like me. Like I really identify with this protagonist, but that's that's where empathy comes from, you know. That's the where actual movement comes from. The hell is he even talking about? If you want to make a I see it, it's the same thing like I keep saying in regards to what they keep doing. Make unique stories about black people, you won't have this problem. With black characters, you won't have this problem at all. That's not what this movie is about. The trailer for this movie told you exactly what it was about. They were actually saying in the movie, the most dangerous creature in the world is white people when they are unhappy. So they, so these magical black people are using their powers to make white people happy or else things get bad for them. That is it. That is, not, that is the message you are trying to push in this movie. You can talk about how it's about seeing yourself and finding yourself. And that's not what you're doing. You're putting out a message that says this is basic borderline racism. 
fans don't want that. All this talk about wanting to find some movies or all kind of thing. I, I, I always had white people before. Then why do you keep needing to go and take white people's sloppy seconds? It's the same thing like what happened with the Little Mermaid um, live action movie that, that they did. You could have spent that money and made an original mermaid movie about a black mermaid. You could have done that, but no, instead, instead you decided to race swap Ariel and spend your literal entire marketing budget to call everybody racist who didn't like it. Come on now, man. It's not it's not rocket science. Just make good things and nobody would nobody, nobody will have a problem with it. Regardless of the message that the director is desperately attempting to convey with the American Society of Magical Negroes, whatever that may be, any film struggling to make one million at the box office is in dire need of a certain magical individual lending a helping hand. Yeah, because when you make garbage, you can be certain you are going to be in trouble. You could have made a good movie and you would not have had this problem. Instead, you decided to make shit, tell people that, oh, you know, not understanding the message, come on, talk some shit about racism and, and marginalized group and all kind of nonsense, all to distract from the fact you made stupidness, you were given money to make nonsense, and your movie is a financial disaster as barely made over $2 million. And when you look, at what it has done in the box office here. It's an absolute embarrassment to everything in cinema. What? In the immortal words of Joker from the Joker movie. Holy, get what you fucking deserve! Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments. I have a different, I have a different opinion. I'd love to hear it. If you like, even sure to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell to be notified every time I put out a new video. And I shall see you all next time. Take care.